Automatic changeover switch for generator. Required electrical equipment are Magnetic contactor. This is the magnetic contactor. This diagram shows the theoretical working of the contactor. And this is the cut section of the contactor. Here, NC means normally closed contact, and NO means normally open contact. When this coil A1A2 is not energized, the NC contacts are closed, and NO contacts are open. T1, T2, and T3 are also normally open contacts. When we turn on the supply for coil A1A2, the coil magnetizes and attracts the plunger, and normally open contacts get close, and normally closed contacts get open. Next, we need a 220 volt 5 pin relay. This also works on the same principle. This is the actual picture of the relay. And this is the theoretical working. This coil energizes and makes normally closed contact open, and normally open contact close. Apart from these, we need a single pole and two pole MCBs. Now let's do the wiring. Here, we take supply from the electricity supply grid, and connect it to the metering device, through a single pole MCB. Then the supply is connected to the magnetic contactor through the two pole MCB. From this contactor, the supply is connected to the house distribution board. Next, we need to connect the supply of electricity generator to the house distribution board. The supply of the generator is connected to the distribution board, passing through the second MCB and second contactor. This is the basic wiring, now we should interconnect the contactors, so that when there is no power from the electric pole, the generator should switch on and supply current to the distribution board. This switching on of the generator can be done by, this 220 volt, 5 pin relay. Take the supply lines from the main electric supply from the pole, and connect them to the relay. Next, take the generator starter connection, and connect it to the normally closed pins of the relay circuit. Here, since the supply is coming from the pole, and energizing the relay coil, this normally closed switch will be open as long as the supply from the pole is coming. The moment the supply from the pole is stopped, the coil will demagnetize, and the NC connection will close, thus starting the generator. Next, we need to interconnect these two contactors. Let's do this wiring. Case 1, when the electric supply from the pole is on. This is how the current will flow in the circuit. The supply from the electric pole, passes to the coil of the first contactor, through the normally closed contact of the second contactor. Thus energizing the first contactor coil and supplying current from the pole to the distribution board.
when the supply in the electric pole is off. This is how the current from the electric generator will flow to the distribution board. In this case, the relay coil de-energizes and starts the generator. The supply from the generator will pass to the coil of the second contactor, through the normally closed contact of the first contactor. This will energize the second contactor and closes the contacts. Thus, the supply from the generator will pass to the distribution board. This is how the changeover circuit works. I hope this video helped you in understanding how to make an automatic changeover switch for the generator. If it helped you, please click on the like button, and if you are new to ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications to get my latest videos.